You're fine. Okay, okay. Cool, cool beans. beans. Uh, uh, so, so uh, this, this weirdness, weirdness happens. Uh, the last question, I believe, was where was Ira? She's doing the same thing she typically does when you guys are like... Actually, she's probably still asleep. She probably didn't even wake up this whole thing. She just passed out on the deck of the boat. Well, I'm glad. I was half expecting you to say, she's gone! She's gone. She's in Kelrick now. <laughs> no. You he ate me. her! No, I have bigger plans than that. Come on, How credit. dare you? <laughs> Um, no, she's like asleep on the deck. I needed, a, I needed a source of protein. My vegetarian ways have been going. <laughs> she was in Kelrick the whole time. Yeah. So, so. Which one has more? Okay. So she's just asleep on the ship, Layla. Thanks. Okay. Uh, can I like insight check to see if she's like for reals asleep? Yeah. yeah. I'd like to see if she's like for reals asleep. She seems to be for reals asleep. Hmm. You know, for a fact, under her, like, blanket roll, she's probably naked. Probably oh, naked. Alright. Hmm. Well, if you have a thing that's trying to escape you, Kelrick, maybe I should watch you sleep. <laughs> Kelrick is making that exact face. <laughs> I mean, I have this I thing that I can do where I can, you know, hold person and you won't go anywhere or harm anybody if I see you. You I know? Mean, I, I, I guess if you want to, but I would worry that you wouldn't get any sleep then. I mean, I gotta have watch. Maybe, maybe I take a little bit less sleep for a while. Maybe I'll tell you your beauty sleep. Well, you know, <laughs> that's what makeup's for. See, the truth yeah. is, I haven't swapped, slept well in years. <laughs> that's, that's... I would never have guessed. Yeah, she just kind of like <laughs> awkwardly giggles. Huh. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> I buy yeah, really good stuff. Oh. I buy the good shit. And it covers up the dark circles and you know. Anyway. Is is there a reason you haven't been sleeping well? Or are you one of those insomniacs I hear so much about? <laughs> uh yeah, well, you know, it's a thing. It's well. fine. Uh, it's just one of those things. It's always been, so to speak. Usually, I think. It's always been. <laughs> Layla's apparently lying. <laughs> so. so, if you guys want to insight her, you are welcome to. Yeah, it seems fine. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Okay, so Ira kind of rolls over in her sleep. Uh, the rest of you uh, kind of awkwardly return back to bed. I, I don't know who wants to stay up at this point, but eventually... Me. Um, I'm not night, sleeping in Tuxu. The night passes, and morning comes. Uh, the ship continues on its travel to Scornbull. Um, is there anything else you guys want to do during this lovely day? The sun is warm, the birds are chirping, it's a nice late fall, sort of cool day, or early fall sort of cool day, where it hasn't really started to get cold yet, the leaves haven't started to turn colors, so it's, it's almost like spring, uh, where everything is just a little bit cooler and nice outside, but you still get the, the flowers blooming and the fish jumping in the water and sort of the niceness of the summer. Anything Something. I think Kelrick's going to be checking his chest to see if the hair grows back or if he's just stuck with a handprint on him forever now. Doesn't seem to be. You worry over it probably the course of the rest of the, the morning and it doesn't seem to be changing. <laughs> Buster catches additional fish. <laughs> he continues with his, yes! uh, his line and tackle. 
Uh, now that he knows what worms to use from the bank, he seems to have gotten fairly proficient in it. Alright, who wants some worm fish? Anybody? Okay, I'll eat them myself. <laughs> Are you gonna cook them? Um, oh, yes. I think cooking is probably best. I'll just, help you. Just use fire and not your acid breath. <laughs> yes, I will use my, um... That would be more like fermenting. Ew. Oh yeah, the like the people um up north who make lutefisk. Oh god. <laughs> Fish jello. So weird. Oh, it's so disgusting. <laughs> you got smear with mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. My friend um I think her dad used to send her lutefisk like every winter or something. Yeah. Oh no! It's like it's a weird Minnesota like leftover yeah. tradition from Vikings or something. I don't know. They also like to ferment sharks in Dane Land. So, so uh, yeah. During the day, Buster spends his passes his time by fishing. What's everybody else doing? I want to talk to Ira. Sure. Be my guest. Oh. <laughs> Talk to Ira. Ira. Hey. Hey. I had a dream. Hello. She nods. I, I hear humans have those. Yeah, that asshole showed up again. She seems like he's trying to use me in my dream state. She just seems confused. She's looking at you like, uh, what? Oh. Never mind. How have you been? How are you feeling? She shrugs. Um, your contouring looks good. A little odd. Hey, thanks. I've, uh, <laughs> Layla, I'm still not wearing makeup. Huh. Um, but I appreciate you saying I look good. <laughs> I thought, um, thought I, I have, my face is still contouring. Using, using the lotion you gave me. Oh, shoot. And that's nice. Hmm. That's good. And then she, like, looks around and she's like, and I hope soon approves. And then she kind of waits. And then when nothing happens, she, like, relaxes again. I think she probably does! You're doing great! She, like, nods excitedly, like, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Man. She's like, um, so, so tell me about Sue. She, what, what kind of, um, she's the goddess of, um, beauty. Sex and stuff? Beauty. Beauty. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Beauty. Sometimes beauty involves sex. <laughs> I think she's the goddess of love. She's more like Aphrodite. Uh, I love beauty. It's all kind of the same. I, I think that's one of her, like, spheres of influence. She's known as Lady Firehair. Uh, deity of beauty with governance over love. That's what the Wikipedia says. So, so mostly, mostly about beauty and then also a little bit about love yeah usually they kind of go you know hand in hand you know well, beauty i kind of know about but like what um is love what's love like baby don't hurt me <laughs> calric high five <laughs> i mean it's similar to have you ever seen someone that you just kind of like are real into? You're like, oh, that's a very attractive person. She shrugs. How do you mean? Like, can you give me an example? Is there somebody you think's really attractive? Uh, well, that's not exactly how. It, well, it's not a hundred percent that, but it's more like um, kind of like what you did before back in El Torel. You know how you went there, went to certain death for your friends. Nod. Does that mean I love you guys? think so. Do you feel attached? She shrugs a little awkwardly. I, I guess. Like, if you weren't with us, would you feel sad? She nods. Then, yeah, yeah that's, that would be a f way of love. Yeah. So, if I'm in love with all of you, does that mean we get to have sex? 
with like all of you? There are several different kinds of love. Around, <laughs> you're looking around at the group a little hungrily. Like, like she thinks this is a good idea. I'm into this. There are different kinds of love. That would be love amongst friends. Usually not sexual. Sometimes sexual. So you could be in love, but not... Well, it's more like just having love, not in love. In love would be more like, yeah, you get to do the sexual parts. And yeah, you have a strong attachment to that person. So if I feel like I feel about you guys with somebody but I also want to have sex with them, then I'm in love with them. Calric, help me out here, buddy. Uh, you, you don't necessarily have to um, have sex with them to like a person really a lot. Turning but red. But what if I want to have sex with them and I'm also very attached to them? Like, if I was uh, sad if they weren't there, what if I'm sad, sad if they don't want to have sex with me? Um, that's dancing the fine line between love and lust. She kind of, like, lust I get. That one I get. That's yeah. just the wanting to have sex part. Mm -hmm. um, that part I understand. It's, 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 I think it's, uh, like, if you're uh, if you're attached to someone and you don't think you'd be able to, uh, continue to happily exist without them, um... Okay, so that's similar to what Layla was saying about the way I feel about you guys, so it's like that, but stronger? Yeah. And also there can be sex. Yeah. That 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 can happen, but it, it it doesn't necessarily have to. Not necessary. No. Well, unless you're me, in which case. Unless it's physically a, a necessary. Food source, yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, you've given me a lot to think about. You should to you two should continue to discuss how love works. I'm gonna go think what you told me. It, like, it's no, no, no. Wait, away. wait. It, 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 to leave and Layla together. No, like, no, 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 no. Wait, no. It's an intense <laughs> feeling of deep affection. Uh, selfless. I'm gonna go talk to Spoon about this. I'll be over here on this part of the boat. Insight check. <laughs> I don't think that she's gonna be talking to soon. <laughs> she's just being weird. <laughs> Oh, not good enough. <laughs> um, she's probably gonna go like contemplate it, like she's saying, but she she has ulterior motives. <laughs> oh, like you feel like maybe she has a better understanding of this than she was leading on to having, and then she was like sort of guiding the conversation in that area, and then very quickly left the conversation on purpose. Layla scrunches up her nose. <laughs> She's just gonna go over to that part of the boat and rub one out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Jordan, kill me. Uh, Kelrick! Hi! Hi. Buddy? Hi, hi, um... I, uh, gotta talk to you about something. Uh, go ahead. She's getting increasingly nervous. How about we talk on the opposite end of the boat? Uh, I'm kind of distancing myself from Ira and in, in, in this conversation. Like, I'm trying to move him. Oh, okay. He, he, he's actually, like, what's, if you just kind of, like, push him in the right direction, he'll just go. Okay. That's his Calric. Yeah. She, he, she, like, whispers over in your ear, act like nothing is going on. Do that little cute thing that you do. He turns red, right? <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna like put her hand in front of her mouth. And she's gonna be like, "Assy was in my dreams again." 
uh, okay? Um. And he told me that, uh, whatever he told me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I don't remember. But anyway, yeah, he told me a thing about Ira. Um, uh, do you have doubts? I don't. I think that he's trying to fuck with us. So if you have anything happen to you, we gotta figure out a plan to get... Yeah, plan. Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> Is Chris gonna come over? Looking at me? Involved in this conversation? Huh? You can you can like parade over here if you want. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I'll come over. I'll be like, hey guys, what you talking about? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. What? What? Why? That dream that I had. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you remember what I told you, right? Also, in the chat. That is Sydney saying that. Don't think I about it. Would necessarily think that. <laughs> Don't think it. Don't say it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I thought it. Yep. I'm in trouble. It's not going to go well. Well, Layla, you remembered what we talked about last night. Like, that's my stance on it. Just don't let it get to you. Just trying to, trying to rile us up. We need a plan. We gotta, how do we catch one? To do about like a dream hopping demon man. I don't know. Is there like a dream root you can drink to like prevent it? Joyden, do you know anything about dream roots? <laughs> well, good question. Do I know anything about uh, is Jordan proficient in poisons or like the poisoner kit or anything? I don't think I have a poisoner's kit. Uh, you could do like a nature check. Right. Nope. Mm -hmm. That's a big John Blake. Right Cowrick? Surely you know something about a plant. You know a lot of plants. Maybe I just need to start drinking plant juice. Like a bad idea. There's <laughs> lots of plants that can make you hallucinate, Kelric, and there's a few that would help you sleep. You don't know if there's any that would flat out prevent dreams. You might be able to mix something up with the correct mountain root that would cause you to have real fucking vivid weird dreams, but that doesn't seem to be what Layla's looking for here. I can make your dreams weird, but I can't make you not have them could like probably send her on a vision quest but you know do some peyote at a sweat lodge but i think in uh, my current emotional state uh hallucinations would be a bad plan yeah plus i don't have that particular type of shroom on me <laughs> okay have to go find that one or do they grow in the marshes like and he kind of he is no longer red and is now thinking about mushrooms and marshes Mushrooms and Marshes is a very different game than Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> mushrooms and that Marshes. That was just a lot trippier. Ocean, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know, guys. I don't feel well. I don't like this. I need a cleric. A bigger one. Mm. A better one. I was about to say, aren't you a cleric? We just left the city where where we would have found one, I think. <laughs> yeah, it was something if we wanted to that keep ship something has like literally failed. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan comes up and starts like checking Layla's temperature. Do I feel sick? Am I sick? Do I got it? She feels normal. Yeah, it's still hot to me. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <Nice>. Jordan. <laughs> You're too kind. 
Okay, maybe maybe I just need to take a nap. Cal Calric, can you make sure that I can get some sleep? If it looks like I start to sweat a lot, then there's probably something wrong. You should wake me up. Because that seems to be normal when uh, things yeah. happen. I can do that. Um, is this going to be a regular thing now? Or is it just for the trip? She shrugs. <laughs> Maybe I just feel safer when you're watching me sleep. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe it's because you woke up. Someone woke me up last night in the middle of my nice beauty sleep, and there's a fish, and then you screamed because there's a thing kind of come out of you. I've had a long day, long, long trip. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Long um, trip. Just... Here, I can brew some tea if you'd like. That might help. Oh, yeah, maybe Chris can punch me in the face and knock me out or something. No, 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 because that would, that would hurt. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. Okay. Okay. And I'll be a big weird and watch her sleep. <laughs> so... I'll also watch her, though. Layla, like... Layla sleeps. Chris and Kellerick watch over her. Um, Buster fishes. Curtis reads his book. Jordan works on her shoes. The yeah. day passes fairly peacefully. Uh, night eventually comes. Who's going to take the first watch? Jordan. And Kellerick. I, I, think, I think that I will take a, uh, a hit of... Um, what's it? Exhaustion for tomorrow? If you want to stay up all night, you can take the first watch and still sleep. As I said, I, I don't think Kelrick's going to sleep tonight. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I will have the two of you, either one of you with advantage, or the two of you separately make perception checks for me. Uh, your perception's pretty healthy, isn't it, Jordan? Yeah, it's a plus seven. Yeah, you should take, you two with advantage. Good thing I did. 19. Pretty good. All yeah. thanks to Kelly. Ooh, I haven't used this map in a while. It still had Maloon War Dragon on it. Grab. War Dragon? What's Maloon? He was the the guy with the uh, axe that had a brain worm. Oh. Uh... That boat's got cannons on it. That boat's upside down. Where the fuck is the boat I used? Brain worm. Yeah, you know, the thing that we smooshed. I don't remember if in the uh, sewers. Oh. 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 Uh, where is my, like, archive? It was like a brain dog yeah. thing. Yeah, and if it eats your brain, okay, best you lose yourself. Dragon. Yeah, Snarly. Mm, no me gusta. Oh. Uh we want to do is eat your brains. Also, Kelrick's super happy because Layla said he was cute. <laughs> you know, do that cute thing you do. Turns bright red. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> Why do I have so many spaceships? Because space! You're in space. Congratulations, you're in space now. Uh, this boat is actually pretty close to what I'm after. It's even got the tent at the back. Sweet action. Okay. Throw that along. Map player. I know you're on a different map. It's because I don't have this one ready yet. Give me, like, 30 seconds here. God. Hee yeah. <laughs> hee. Because I didn't have this map pre-planned. 
to. But I got it now. Here we go. Never you may throw yourself. yourselves on the boat wherever you are. The tent, the tent in the back, back is where the May family sleeps. So. So I'm probably not back there. Uh, There's a nice hammock up front here. And then this one. Oh, you can, if you go to, like, your character sheet and then click and drag, your token will just drop onto the board. But I uh, what am I dragging off of? You just click and hold, like, on your name. You can, uh, from the, from the journal tab, you can just click and drag your name. Or the icon next to it. Yeah, and it'll throw your token. Oh, there you go. Cool. So go ahead and throw yourselves on the board wherever you'd like to be. Oh, let's sit and watch. I'm watching. Fish. Fish and sleep at the same time. <laughs> Just asleep with a reel in your hand. Aww. He's uh, probably, like, lost his line by now. Oh, God. As long as he doesn't drop the rod. Oh, that would suck. Okay, so Joyden, in the in the night, you begin seeing these serpentine creatures making their way through the water, and they're swimming up from further upriver toward the boat, and you see four of them begin to sort of encircle the boat. These long, like, fish shapes. Can I roll a nature on them? You can't really see them yet. Mm. Um, a few seconds pass as they sort of do a circuit around the boat, and then the water whoosh, erupts out, and these things leap their way up onto the ship. They have long, gangly, thin limbs, big, bulbous, fish-like heads, and big, giant, unblinking fish eyes. Galric will Put turn into there. a dog and howl real loud. Put one there. To wake people up. There. <laughs> Uh oh. There, and then we'll roll initiatives. Oh no! Oh. We're back on the ghost ship. Just There's don't give only... up this time. Where's <laughs> uh? Where was that big frog guy? Marid. Where's Marid? I love Marid. <laughs> Rachel loves Marid. She talks about him every day. I do. Every day. Aridae. So I have Rachel, I have Denny, I have Chris, I have Layla, I am missing Joyden, and Kelrick. Well, Joyden rolled like a motherfucker, and so did Kelrick. Cool. Bloop. Wow. Okay, uh, Joyden, you get to react first. As these fish monsters leap their way onto the boat. They all have, um, what look like big pincers? Like, uh, almost like a dog catcher's thing, but it's spiked. It's like a collar on the end of a stick. I freak out and say, watch out, Carrick, and then aim at uh, Ira. I'm like, oh, wait, no, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, um, I forgot to roll for her. Hand. I am going to, um... Since this one's right next to me, if I move, will it get an attack of opportunity? Uh, we'll say yes. Okay, then I will attack this one. He shoots it. 17? Uh, 17 will hit. Sorry, you said it does? That does hit, yeah. Wait! I don't think I get my sneak attack, though. Uh, no. 13. To, to make sure it doesn't have any, like, resistance. It does not. Cool. So this thing leaps up into the boat. Joyden crouches down quickly, whips out the the frostbite, draws back uh, the string. The arrow forms itself and thuds into this thing, and it uh, reels in pain, but doesn't seem overly injured. Um, did you? So you didn't want to move, so it's Kelrick's turn. Hey, Kelrick, I need a dog token. Or do I? Can I just grab it? Can I grab one of those as well? Grab it. Yeah. Ooh, fancy. All right. I'm just gonna move your regular token over here. We... All right. As I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna howl really loudly to wake up, make up sure everybody's awake. Um, sure. and then hurry in their sleep. And then I'm gonna put myself firmly in between Layla and whatever else. Can I bite from here, or is Joyden in the way? 
Uh, because it, the creature's, like, down the stairs, you can bite at it, it's just gonna have cover. Uh, that's okay, so it's just a straight roll since I have tactics. Uh, it'll be, it'll still be an advantage, it'll have a plus two to its AC. Um, okay. Uh, no! Going back to sleep. Uh, 20 hits, yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then I just shoot the thing. Uh, it will also fall prone. And down the stairs, I hope. Uh, well, you, like, drug it down, so that you, like, leap over, grab a hold of the thing, pull it back towards you, and it slams into the staircase and falls down at Joyden's feet. Uh, so it's been ripped down. Layla! <sighs> Well, I'm glad I didn't see that ass guy. Um, gonna cast spiritual weapon down, down the stairs here, behind this uh, this guy here. Excuse me. Um, bless you. Fuck. When the cleric says bless you. Aww. <laughs> well, heck. Uh, well that didn't work out the way I hoped. I take the put this down. I would like to sacred flame him instead. I'm like yeah, there you go. So you can move your lipstick around. How about you just like eat some flames? He needs uh, to make a dex check, which he's prone. Yeah, I don't remember if prone has an effect on dexterity saving throw. Oh wait, does my spiritual weapon have advantage? Have advantage, yes. Oh, so I will try to cast that again. See if it hits. Twenty-three. Prone, a prone creature, movement, uh, his disadvantage on attack rolls, attack rolls against it, doesn't affect its saving throw. A uh, twenty-three will hit. Decent. Alright. Fifteen damages. Okay, and out of the water, it does not seem very nimble. Um, so the, <laughs> the spiritual weapon flares the life behind the thing smashes it into the ground and a great column of light smashes in behind it. Uh, the spiritual weapon retreats. The, the light fades. The creature's rolling around in sort of blood and water. You can hear stirring start to occur in the tent, but um, the maze don't seem to have awoken yet. Uh, but it just... The, this thing has been bludgeoned, but it's still alive. Uh, which makes it Curtis's turn. Um, I would like to move to this jabroni over here, and are they holding anything? They have these long staffs with this, like, crab claw that made out of metal on the end of them. Oh, <laughs> metal, you say? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh. Well, let me wait. Let me wait for this thing to load. Um. Uh, you over to the So, heat and metal. I think it just takes the damage and then it can choose to like drop the item. Yeah. Man. And just uh, uh Kurt's gonna uh, uh, kind of whistle a tune and keep this up. Uh, it has to do a Constitution saving throw or it drops the object. So it, you roll a three on two d eight. That's booty. That's not good at all. Uh, I will do a con. I have too many goddamn character sheets open. Okay, uh, constitution saving throw. It's a little better at these. 17, I think, beats your spell save DC. So the, the staff in its hand heats. It begins to sizzle. You see water start to boil up out of its hand. It just goes, ah! uh, But it does not drop it. Next time. Um, and you don't actually have to touch the object to do that, so you could stay where you were if you want. Yeah, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. that counts as my action. You still have your movement and your bonus. Uh, I think I will just use that right now. Okay, Chris. And pass my turn. Uh, what would you like to do, madame? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... Madame! <laughs> Spell D A Y U M. Yeah. I guess I'll I'll go to. 
Uh, it's knockoff White Claw that Susie bought me. Oh. Speaking of which, I need a knockoff White Claw as well. This guy. I'll be right back. What's it okay. called? Eggshell Claw. Vista Aww. Bay. <laughs> Uh, so you leap down off of the top of the, the over the banister onto the second or the the base floor of the ship, run across the decking into this creature's face, and then do what, Chris? I'm gonna do some light stabbing. Uh, ten will not hit. A uh, well, twelve will not hit. Well, this is just a warm up. I'm not awake yet. <laughs> I believe you have you have three attacks. Two with your oh, main yeah, hand, I one do. with your off hand. Um, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Attack. 16 will hit. Yay. For 13 points of damage, you want to do anything else to it? Um. Yeah. Gonna throw some stank on it? I'm just gonna... Uh, I guess, yeah, I can try and trip it. Okay. Do... I think well, I have strength. more things now, I think. That's I feasible. Have... I believe that is a strength saving throw. Ooh. I do these other things. It, that is a ten, so it will be it will be prone as well. Let me throw some oh, on these guys. So I remember they're prone. He also takes four extra damage. Yeah. These guys are prone. Okay, so Chris, as you you're like groggily rush up to this thing, the rapiers come out and they flash forward. It surprisingly <laughs> deftly bats it to the side with its staff, and then the last stab you stab forward and um and catch it in the like the shin. You slide the blade around the bone and twist, which causes the thing to drop down to one knee. Uh, do, 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 do these things have their... No. It's just the other ones that have it. Okay. Uh, Buster. Well, now it's time for me to show off my dragon-like attribute and vomit all over him. You're not gonna, you're not gonna breathe swords? Uh, I haven't learned that yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my acid breath weapon is, um, dexterity saving throw has to beat 13. Oh god, did they change the fucking character sheets again? Because Buster's hit points aren't updating correctly and the thing for HP is gone. Oh. Uh, you go ahead and and I will do the saving throw. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, wait. Uh oh. Honor, history, height, hit dice, hit points. There it is. Oops. Uh, Sorry, I didn't mean to hit it three times. That's fine. So did you roll the same damage twice, so. Uh, two, so two of them need to make a DC 13 dex. 12, that's a fail. <laughs> a natural one. So they will both take 14 points of acid damage. Somewhere you can hear Papa May complaining about the acid splashing across the deck of a ship as Buster vomits horrific bl burning blood. Uh, across these creatures, you see their skin, the steam, and bubbling as it reacts with the water on them, and their skin bubbles up and bursts into big boils. Uh, did you want to move? I'm probably going to back up when I see these popping pimples. Okay. Eee! Oh, don't say it like that. <laughs> that makes it their turn. So, uh, one of them rushes at Buster. Um, these two stand up. And are going to go after Chris and Joyden. Um, best. So I need all three of you. I need Joyden, Chris, and Buster to all make athletics checks. Oh boy. Alright. So that'll be Joyden. This will be Chris. Ah, oh, fuck. This will be Buster. Oh. Wait. So. Uh, Joyden needs to beat a 6, Chris needs to beat a 5, Buster needs to beat a 20. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so, Chris, as this thing lunges forward with its uh, staff, you bring the rapiers up across in front of you and parry it away. 
the other two of you it lunges forward and clamps the staff around your the like cl crab claw around your throats and then they begin trying to drag you off the ship into the water no me do so so like one of those little dinosaur head like grabbers you. but with a crab claw instead yeah yeah basically but it's long yeah so Joyden will take four points of piercing damage. Buster will take three. Oh, guy. Okay. Uh, so they both clamp these things around your guys' throats and then begin trying to, like, wrangle you off the ship. No! Should have actually been Ira's turn. Um, Ira looks over at Layla and goes, um, like, holds up her hands. And she's like, is anybody going to freak out? Good, and then the fucking wings come out, and her hands turn black, the claws grow, and her feet turn into cloven hooves. Um, she's gonna leap forward and flap her wings once, and then land like a bird perched on the handrail next to this one that is attacking uh, uh, Joyden, and she's going to claw at her twice. One. That will hit. That'll hit. Ira will do... Wow, Ira's getting into combat. That's exciting. Not her preference, but she claws at this thing across the back of its head, like raking big deep wounds down it. You can hear it gurgly complain. Um, that will be her turn, which brings us to Joyden. All right, um, so Joyden, you are still... grappled. You have this thing clamped around your throat and it's slowly squeezing into you. Okay, uh, first thing, can I use Misty Step to get out of grapples? Yeah. Awesome. So that's what I'm going to do. Where would you like to but teleport to? I'm going to use my Mystery Step to... Uh, <laughs> mystery? Uh, there. Uh, okay. 30 feet away. Uh, you've never used this spell before. Would you like to describe how it looks? Yeah, I just want... Like, like I think it would, like, I go up in a puff of red smoke, like, like some magic like, trick, like, like Nightcrawler, and that. Yeah. So there's yeah, just a exactly. and a purple, uh, a puff of purple smoke appears where Joyden is standing, and then it sucks back into itself and reappears on the other end of the ship, and Joyden forms out of it. Ta -da! For, for shoe purposes, would they be wear Joydens? That is that is <laughs> that is a bonus action, so you still have your action. So I'm going to attack the one that is uh, dancing with Buster. No problem. And 17? Uh, 17 will hit. Fuck yeah. My, I get my sneak attack since it's yes, attacking you do. Buster, right? 27, so 31 points of damage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so an arrow just into this thing's fish eye in front of you, Buster, as you're struggling with the collar around your throat. You just see an icicle stab into its face. Its eye pops and begins to leak and ooze down its face. But as it oozes, it just, uh, the icicle vanishes and the goo freezes to the side of its head. Gross. Uh, you still have your movement? Do you want to do any? Do you want to move? Uh, no, good here. Okay, Kelric, it is your turn. You are in Doge. Well, <laughs> uh, and hey, since, since, uh, gonna be... and since I was there, I get tactics. Yay! I love tactics. It's my favorite. <laughs> uh, a 20 will hit. Six points of damage. Oh, sorry, I clicked it twice. I didn't see it the first time. <laughs> and strength saving throw. It falls prone again. <laughs> so it clamps onto Joyden, and Joyden vanishes, and then there's the dog leaps on it and bears it to the ground, begins shaking this thing back and forth. Uh, it's not having a good go. Uh, Layla. Um... Layla, I'm gonna command my spiritual weapon to spiritual weapon. It's prone again, so you get advantage again. Fuck yeah! What do we got? What do we got? 25? 25 hit? A 25 will hit. 
Sweet. For six points of damage, and the lipstick slams into it again, leaving a great spectral pink schmear. So since this is a... Since I already cast Spiritual Weapon as my bonus action in the last round and not commanding it as a bonus action, I can cast regular spell, right? Yeah, you can cast just double check. Spell. Yes. Okay, just want to double check. You can only use one spell slot. Per so, turn. Per turn. You can only spend one spell slot. Okay. I would like Dust rule. to do... Um... Um... Buster. Dig. Buster, I'm going to save you, but I don't know how. So I'm just going to inflict wounds on the guy that's got your throat. You gotta touch it. No. Is that touch? It is a touch. It's like your one. Well, fuck me, I guess. I will just, uh... When we get to playing D&D. Guiding bolt him. <laughs> guiding bolt the guy that's got him. Cool. Be like, no. You're a bad. Uh, 21 will hit. And taste that. For 14 points of radiant damage. It's slammed back, dragging Buster with it as this radiant bolt hits it at an angle, uh, blowing like a gash in its chest. There's a huge burnt mark in its, in its chest now as it reels backwards. Um, it is barely clinging on the life. It only has the one eye, and the one that is still working is sort of searching around quickly, like darting from place to place. Do you want to move, Layla? Um, is this deck flat all the way across? No, like there's a raised area here and a raised, you can see the stairs. Okay, how high is the raised? Ah, uh, like five feet. Okay. You can just, you don't need to make a check or anything, you can just jump over the railing. Um, I think I'm going to move, yes, I would like to move. Um, let me see how far I can move. Is it difficult terrain or anything to hop down? Nah. Okay, I'm gonna go over there. Cool. Uh, uh Curtis. I um focus I think I on the. I want to try using the heat. Yeah, you, it's, so it's your bonus action. You can focus on the heat metal. You can just roll the damage again because it's still holding on to the thing. Not sure. Uh, Oops. cool. The creature. The sizzling in its hands finally causes it to drop the the fucking uh, staff, but the burning works its way up its hands, up its wrists, up into its arms, uh, as you basically incinerate it. Uh, unfortunately, the thing was clamped around Buster's throat, so Buster, you will also take 12 points of damage. Oh, uh, he'll be fine. No, oh, fuck you! <laughs> Uh, so you take 12 birds of damage as the what was that? collar around your head. Yeah, it's like your good friend. It gets to burn into your flesh. Uh, Chris. Oh, did you want to move or, or use your action, Rachel? Fine. Or sorry, Denny? Right so okay. it's your bonus action to heat metal, so you still have your action. Uh, well, maybe I'll uh, take a step back. Dab or. Okay. Then it's Chris's turn. Keep stabbing this guy. Twenty one will hit. Uh okay, for eleven damage. Twenty three will hit. For another eleven. Okay. Twenty three will hit good lord. <laughs> Seven. Okay. He's still up. Did you want to use one of your special abilities? Uh, yeah. I'm going to disarm him, actually. I got this when I leveled up. Uh, okay. So you're going to take the... the uh, What kind of saving throw is it? It's strength. strength. Okay. Uh, what's your save, uh, save DC? Oh, it's 16 now. Nice. Uh, he fails. So you knock the weird, uh, <laughs> the weird grabby staff out of his hand. <laughs> he goes <laughs> flying off into the river. Sploosh. Oh, you see him sort of look at it at, uh, after it warily. Um, which makes it Buster's turn. Buster, other than your throat being a little singed, the, you're all right. The creature in front of you is dead, which is, is probably good. 
Thank you, Curtis. That's what I actually said. I didn't say anything else. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Anything for my dear friend. <laughs> I'm going to help my friend over here. Okay, so I'm going to try to see if I can run myself over to here. Yeah, you can get there. Cool. I'm going to rush over to help my good friend over here. And... 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 <laughs> okay. I'm going to whack him. With my quarter staff. My stick of whacking. Yes! What? Uh, a nine does not hit, unfortunately. You swing, it dodges back, half trips on the railing, and it begins to tumble off the ship. Um, which makes it Ira's turn. She will continue to... Uh, is this thing humanoid? I don't know. Some sort of otherworldly weirdness. <laughs> so she's going to continue to claw. Oh, fuck, Ira. Get it, girl. Cool, girl. So 10, so 14. Oh, she actually has advantage. So. Second attack. Make sure she doesn't crit again. No. Okay, so 14 points of damage. Uh, she basically claws, like, leans down while this thing is pinned under Kelric and just rakes her claws across its throat. And just blood, like, weird fish blood and clear fluid comes spewing out of it. Um, monster's turn. Uh, this one's just gonna jump off the ship. Uh, so you guys hear uh, two heavy splashes. Splish, splish. Um, the other one uses half its movement to get up. And out of, I think, fear and desperation is going to attack either, we'll say, well, I'll roll a d2. So, uh, Kelric is a 1, and Ira is a 2. Kelric. So, out of desperation, it tries to clamp the thing onto Kelric, so Kelric, I need you to make an athletics check. What? Using a dog thing on a dog? Unheard of. I only rolled a seven. Uh, what's athletics based in again? Strength. I use big dog. Okay, yeah. Think, think, and you just shake it off. It has no effect. Uh, Joyden, it is your turn. There's only one of so these says, on the ship. The other one seems to be swimming away. The other one disengaged? Uh, it did, yeah. It just used oh, its okay. action and then fell off the ship. So I saw that there was one over here. Can I see where it went? Or did it... You don't see it anymore. Okay. I am going to jump. Uh, oh, let me figure out how far that is. Here. Oh yeah, you got your you have boots that just like let you jump, don't you? Is that no? You I gave those with the buster. Oh, Buster has the leapy shoes. Okay. Yeah. So you run, leap over the railing, sort of land in the, the little dinghy that they used to get to shore, and it rocks back and forth from the chains that it's used to hung, or that it's hung from. Yeah. Woo! That's right! Oh, fuck. Okay. Which one are you shooting? I, this one? Uh, I was actually shooting the one that was running away. Oh, God. Okay, uh, it evaporates? I don't know, that's so much damage. Hang on, that's 33 plus 9 is 30, wait, 42? Yeah. Plus another 4 is 46 points of damage. <laughs> Whoa. Thud! Oh. It's just, it just becomes an icicle, like an ice cube that's slowly floating in the water. <laughs> The fish stick. <laughs> um, I was gonna say frog legs. The fish sticks works too. Kelric. Ooh, yum yum yum. Or attempted yum yum yum. Uh, it did stand up. So, but you still have advantage because pack tactics. Uh, that will hit. Yeah. 
I mean, it's gonna fall prone, but mostly because you rip it to shreds. So you bear it down to the ground once again as it manages to shove you off, leaps up, snaps at you with its stab. You dodge back from the stab, leap in and grab it on the inside of the leg and just pull and it falls down. Kelric leaps on top of this thing's face and you just hear a skull crunch under his mighty dog jaws. Um, it has fallen. Uh, you guys are out of initiative. And cannot get up. <laughs> yeah. I grab one of their grabby thingy. Okay, so as you lean down to pick it up, uh, Ira looks around quickly and begins to shift out of her more demonic form. From the tent, the flap flies open. You see Papa May come rushing out, and he goes, Where's Oye? My boy! Where's my boy? Hmm? Is he gone? And that's where we'll stop for the night. Oh no! Oh no! Boy! No! No! He abandoned his boy! How? Did they eat them? Oh. I mean, they seem more determined to drag them, drag us under. And if we act quickly, we might be able to do something before drowning happens. I know Three what point. I'm doing. Dog fish! I'm gonna fish him out! Oh god. Damn you, Chase. <laughs> damn, you. damn you, Chase! <laughs> Why am I being damned? Because you were like, you'll you see me more. I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. I, I think I deserve credit for the timing. I ended this at the exact right time. Yeah. On a cliffhanger. Mm. <laughs> how I'm dare you? Isn't that always how you end it? So. I try to, but it doesn't always work out that way. Cool. Um, so that was a good session. Nice you done, everybody. Uh, so, coolest moments. Let's do them. Let's do them, too. Who's got a cool moment for me? When Jordan I... froze that fish solid. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, I... yeah that's working. <laughs> I mean, I'm super unhappy about it, but the the, the handprint thing was pretty cool. <laughs> Yikes! I, I I like the the like how we were trying to convince uh, Papa May uh, that dragons were not monsters. And it just wasn't. Oh, oh the stupid yeah. argument with the swords! <laughs> sword swallowing. Chris is gonna figure out how to vomit some swords. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be scary. <laughs> I mean, if you're a magic user, I'd just say you learn uh, that spell that multiplies a weapon many times, a uh, cloud of daggers or whatever. Oh, yeah. I'd do it. But, uh... Tiger. <laughs> okay. But and then MVP. MVP. Basically a sword element. Sword elemental. Yeah. MVP. Alright. Who's MVP this session? One. I vote. Follow me. Because, you know, he's the one I, so I vote Joyden for the, for the high perception role and the very much dispatchery of things. Yeah. yeah. Nat 20 good, of the night. It was a good yeah. fight. You guys also had the the conversation with Osvaldo and his weird buddies, which seemed a bit suspicious to Layla. Mm-hmm. Still suspicious. I'm sure they're very nice people. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen. Suspicious. Yeah, like father like son. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh-huh. See, Jordan's got my back. He knows. She knows. So, what? No, I'm saying that it reforms, you know? Like, father like such. You know, the father is definitely a worshiper of soon. So, so for the MB, MVP thing, I think I'm going to start saying if you don't use the the inspiration that session, it's just gone. Okay. Yeah. So, so that I can start encouraging you guys to act. Because I think everybody has fucking inspiration right now. Nobody's using it. I don't have any right now. I use I, mine. I have a nasty habit of, because this, I'm... In my other campaigns, inspiration doesn't come as easily, so I try to save it for if I'm about to die 
or if I think so, or there's a really important role. Yeah. In, in my campaign, I would prefer you guys spend it so that I can give it to you again, because there's a lot, oh, there's a lot okay. of role playing today that like I just didn't like I didn't bother giving you inspiration because I'm pretty sure everybody has it. And then I'm also no. giving it for MVP. So I think the MVP inspiration will be like additional. It'll be separate, but it only counts for the next session. Okay. Okay. So if you don't have inspiration, everybody did lots of role playing today. Everybody can have inspiration for that. And then I also need inspiration for MVP. So who who do we want to be? Oh, bonus in inspiration. Mm -hmm. As I said, Joyden's my my pick. Yeah, I think. Yes, yeah. I think Joyden. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Joyden for dim crits. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think that that was pretty sweet. I like that. Plus, he spotted not one. Where, or was was he the one that spotted the the fish going under, or was that Chris? That was Chris. That was Chris. Okay. The foreshadowing fish creature. Mm -hmm. Emphasis oh. on the shadow. Yikes! Cool. cool. Well, next week we'll find out which one of Papa May's sons has gone missing and what's going on with him. Oh shit. Cool. All right. Love you guys. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.